pod baby you were trying to trap me let's take this show on the Same. road Welcome back to the vlog. I'm Jasmine. If you're new here, today we just got done filming some content, hence the appearance. I would literally not look like this. I would be looking real bummish right now if I didn't have anything to film. But yeah, we went to the gym this morning, got a good workout in, and I got home, had to film some stuff. And then I also need to edit because I gotta get the vlogs up. It's almost time to pick Cali up, so I don't really have too much time before um heading out to grab her but i just need to edit the vlog for tonight i have some footage on my dji camera that i need to put onto the um hard drive or whatever but that's boring let's get into some fun stuff <laughs> so i ordered oh this is where that lipstick went i was looking for this i just ordered one thing off of beachy i haven't ordered off of beachy in a while but i typically do like their selections i feel like they have the cutest girliest things on beachy and they always have like new things coming out so yeah i was scrolling their side because they had a little sale going on and i got this purse this is one of those inspired bags from Bottega and this color just looks oh this looks so pretty this color oh my gosh like how cute is this oh this is actually the brand that is sold at Marshalls and TJ Maxx this is this brand here this is literally the same brand I forget how much I paid for this but it was on sale and I remember thinking the price was around the same as the ones at Marshall so it was probably around the same price but when it's not on sale I'm pretty sure it's more than the ones at Marshall this one however looks really nice and like clean I feel like this came straight from the factory maybe by the time they get to Marshall's they're a little um beat up but this one looks a lot like neater and like newer I needed a chocolate brown bag and I felt like this one was the perfect size and color I really really like this you guys know I just got the black one at Target last week or a couple weeks ago and ever since having that black one I felt like I needed some more colors so I got the brown I'll link this one down below but Vichy does have other colors as well I really want like a red or like a burgundy so maybe we'll get that as well but yeah this is so cute this color is perfect for fall and winter. I love a brown, burgundy, burnt coppery, burnt orange shade for fall winter. So this is perfection. It comes in a little dust bag too. Like it's definitely a different experience than getting it at Marshalls. <laughs> but it's for sure the same brand. I remember seeing that brand on the bags. I do also have a couple PR packages that I wanted to open up with you. One is a pair of PJs that I'm so excited to have. And then I have some other like makeup. I think I have a perfume package as well. I will be doing a giveaway soon. I wanted to do one at the end of October. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I will be doing one at the end of October. The rules are probably going to be something like watch the Vlogtober videos, be subscribed, follow me on Instagram if you have an Instagram, follow me on IG, TikTok. And that's pretty much it. One of the packages that I just got is going to be in this giveaway. This is from Alice Brooklyn. And I already have these. So I figured why not. But they sent me this Day to Night package. And these are two of my favorite fragrances from them. Basically it has this little kit. This is the kit here. And it's actually going to be at Sephora and Kohl's on October 15th. So it comes with... Sun fruit and Miami Nectar and basically it's supposed to be a transition from day to night and this is the other side of the bag it just says Ellis Brooklyn this is the inside I don't want to open this because I'm gonna put it in my giveaway but it comes with a full size of Miami Nectar and a travel size of Sun fruit I do also really like salt the blue bottle and there's another one that I really like as well but those are like my top two I want to say so exciting actually need to head to the bus stop right now so we're gonna head to get cali and then i'll talk to you guys in a little bit um and hopefully answer any of your burning questions all right so i just got done with a like not a meeting but it had kind of like a creator zoom for like tips and stuff like that also editing some stuff but i did make the executive decision to do vlogtober every other day yesterday i was kind of thinking maybe i'll start that after today but today i was like you know what i'm just gonna start today it's a lot of content and i feel like people are not getting a chance to see 
vlogs before I drop the next one and I just feel like they'll be better for all of us. So for me, for my sanity, for you guys' viewing pleasure, I think it'll just be better that way. So we're gonna do it that way, see how it goes. I think that should work a lot better. Now, I need to figure out dinner. We do have some barbecue chicken that I made yesterday, but we don't have any sides. We actually have beans, but we need like maybe potatoes. Maybe I could do potatoes. Somehow this week is kind of flying by and I don't know why. October just started and I feel like October is literally just running away. Like, where are you going, girl? Slow down. Slow down. What's the what's the rush? What's that? What do we what, what's going? Why is it October? What What is today? The 10th? Like, why is October flying? I don't I don't get it. I can't be the only one thinking that October literally is flying. Anyways, I think I'm going to make myself a little snacky snack. So let's go to the kitchen. I think I have granola still and then I'm going to I think I'm going to do granola, yogurt and maybe a little drizzle of honey for like a little snack. Chobani, Greek yogurt, some granola, a drop of honey, literally. Hey girl, it is Thursday. I just got ready a little. I'm going to go to the mall today because I wanted to look at the new Gap and Kalgaya collection that I talked about in the last vlog. Just want to see it in person. I did check online and it looks like there is a Gap in Jersey that's going to have the collection. I think that's the closest location to me. So we're going to head there. It's a little later than I wanted to leave. So hopefully they still have what I want, which is the crop sweater. If not, I'll probably have to order it, but I need to be near a computer by 12 because it drops at 12. Today's scent is Gentle Fluidities Gold. Such a pretty scent. This scent is so beautiful and it's one of those scents that I have never gotten over. I love most of the fragrances that I own, like really, really love, but some of them are just on another level. Like my love for them is it's just different this is a perfume that i've literally never gotten over like never gotten tired of never had to like cycle it out because i felt like i was tired of it as much as i love uh delina i have cycled it like i've gotten to a point where i'm like all right i'm over this for now we'll revisit in a few months you know i've never experienced that with this perfume and it's very few perfumes that are on this level so anyways let us go i'm wearing a crop sweater from lululemon jeans are h and m i'm gonna wear today wearing my pink sambas today i feel like pink is a neutral but also pink really goes with green really nice pink goes with green really nicely so i think this is a really cute combo taking these celine sunglasses as well today and then also my bum bag which Perfect. Gotta take my phone and a spare battery. I may actually do some groceries today. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to decide if I feel like doing grocery shopping. But either way, I do need to get like certain things at the grocery store. So we'll end up at Whole Foods most likely. But I don't know if we're going to do like full on groceries or just grab a few things, which is what I usually do. So yeah. By the way, I don't know if I told y'all, but it's the next day. Did I say that? I think I said it's Thursday. It's the next day. Oh, this lighting is sucky. All right, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna put my light on because this lighting is not it. Maybe this will help. Let's see. I feel like that did nothing. I feel like it's so bright outside that this is not helping me at all. Oh wait, it did help, right? Oh, it does help. Wait, I'll put you guys in here. I'll clip it into the vent. All right, let's put this in the vent. I just pulled the car forward and out of the sun because that definitely was not working. So I did skip the gym today. Today's my one of my rest days. But it wasn't exactly planned. So what had happened was this morning Clay left for school and maybe like 10 minutes after he left, I realized that he left his laptop at home and they use the laptops in school so i'm like oh my gosh like i'm gonna have to bring this for him callie leaves like 45 minutes after clay does so she was still home and i was like you know what i'm just gonna drive you to school today and we'll take clay's laptop to him so i didn't really text him or anything i was just kind of like i'm gonna bring it to school 
and they'll let him know that his laptop is here they don't want to distract him or anything like that in the mornings i'm like half asleep i'm like not with it you know up until like nine o'clock i feel like that's my hour where i'm like getting myself together which like i said we are changing maybe tomorrow is the day i start it's friday tomorrow but you can start things on a friday you know you can switch it up so maybe tomorrow is the day that we start this new like life new habit so i wasn't dressed for the gym i just was not even dressed to go to clay's school threw on some sweats got in the car we drove to the school dropped off the laptop with all the commotion i was just not prepared to go to the gym so i was like you know what i'm just gonna go to the mall because i really wanted to see this collection in person start the day off a little different today and we'll do a rest day which I still need because i did two days back to back that were really intense now let's get to the reason why i was up all night <laughs> and why i was so discombobulated in the morning so i watched the three episodes of love is blind that came out yesterday girl let's start with tyler and ashley let's get right to it in the last vlog i was saying how i saw some stuff on tiktok about tyler and you know this other family that he had basically there's like two storylines one is that he was a sperm donor so he donated he donated sperm to a woman that he knew so that they can have kids the, the woman could have kids that's the story that he told ashley now i watched that episode knowing the full story that's online and so the whole time i'm watching it i'm like is he gonna not tell her he's talking about having kids he's talking about what his what they're gonna name their kids they're talking about how many different how many kids they want and these are different conversations happening at different times like not all in the same time these are separate conversations they're talking about kids for like days like the idea of having kids like how many kids they want naming kids if they want girl or boy like making family traditions and this man hasn't yet to open his mouth and say that he has kids at the very end of the episode i guess he ends up telling her and i did see an interview where he said that he told her off camera he he didn't want to say it on camera so he told her off camera but i guess she requested to have it be on camera so they aired the part where basically she's like you know like you just dropped the bomb on me basically that's the part that we got to see but apparently he told her off camera right before that happened and he basically told her the angle of him being a sperm donor and this was someone that he knew and he wanted to help them have kids and she's kind of like yeah but you have three kids and you had all this time to tell me this is something that you should have told me in the pods like before i decided to say yes and very well so like what i don't get his thought process he's like there was never a right time he wanted to tell her the entire time but he just never felt like there was the right time to tell her and i'm like you you could have found a, a chance i feel like this is something that's so major that you gotta let it drop the first day like you gotta be like hey i'm tyler i have three kids <laughs> like you know let somebody know off the bat so they can decide whether they want to proceed or not like i want to know like if i decide that i want to still pursue it that's cool but this is something i need to know like i don't want to develop feelings before you tell me that like that's crazy let's get into what is being said online so online the kids mom's mom is the one basically spilling all the tea so their maternal grandmother this is strictly what i got on the internet so this is um allegedly okay i don't know if this is true the woman that he donated the sperm to was his friend and she was in a relationship with her wife i don't i think it was her wife i'm not sure but she was in a relationship with her wife i believe and um he donated the sperm as a friend so they can have kids and they had one kid a son i want to say they got divorced or um they broke up or whatever and he ends up moving in with the lady he ends up moving in with the friend and accidentally have twins so now he has three kids with this person who is a friend i guess <laughs> okay so that's as far as i know from that story now the mom the grandmother is saying that he basically abandoned them he, he abandoned the kids and the mom 
I think right after or right before filming the show, I want to say. Like, it was around the time of the show. Not recently, but I think this show was filmed last October, I, I want to say. So around that time, he basically stopped talking to them. And he hasn't communicated with them for about a year because it's now a year later. Now, I am a benefit of the doubt person. So I still give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> and I feel like maybe he has a valid reason for why they're not in communication. I don't know. Like... You always think like something's crazy, then you hear the other side of the story and you're like, whoa, I get why you made that decision. So I do, I would like to know, I mean, it would be nice to know. Mm -hmm. When I initially heard this, my thought was kind of like, okay, so he helped out a friend. Well, apparently he owes like a bunch of money in child support and so that kind of indicates that he's responsible for the kids somehow there's also a bunch of family pictures where it kind of looks like he's part of the family the family pictures say a lot but at the same time they say nothing because it's possible for him to be a friend and taking these pictures with these kids especially if they're his kids it kind of i don't really see that being so far-fetched it's more so like the child support that i'm kind of like well why do you owe child support if that's not really your like if you're not financially responsible for these kids like why would that be the case i don't know i didn't investigate this personally but people are saying the records are online so if you wanted to know you can know i'm not that nosy <laughs> i'm not gonna go look that up no and there's a bunch of women coming out saying that he did them dirty didn't tell them about the kids owes them money there's a bunch of women saying that stuff as not a bunch maybe like two or three women saying stuff about him as well so there's a lot of different stories about tyler and they're all insane and i'm looking at him and i'm like he don't look like but people never look like you know what you think he really has such an innocent face and he's really he's really not Ugh. this man literally the day before was talking about pod baby pod baby you were trying to trap me and bamboozle me before you even told me about how could I talk about T without talking about our Nigerian brother? What is his name? Monica and Steven. First of all, he already told her in the pods that he wears the title of a cheater. I don't know what homegirl was thinking when she decided to keep it moving because I'm sorry, but mm, no. I'm sorry, but if, if I know that about you already, like we can't proceed. I'm just that's just the reality of it and so those messages that she's seen whatever they say sounds sounds crazy sounds insane sis like he told you he basically told you and you gave him a green flag so i don't know um i feel bad for her but really i don't know and then he said <laughs> when he talked about the case Bay bag i was like now they're on two different they're just not on the same level like he's just she needs somebody else marissa and ramses i feel like these two from like from the outside they seem like they're a good match but when i sit down and really think about the different conversations they've had i don't think they're gonna work out i think that they have they have good chemistry but i don't think they have the same mindsets are different I think that he is very, very, very passionate about the things he's passionate about. I feel like she's more of a free spirit than he is. I think that he looks like a free spirit, but he's not. I think that he has very strong opinions. I think she's still trying to figure out herself. And then her mom is just, mm -mm. like, doing too much. Like, first of all, I can't even, <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. I just don't see that working realistically. Alex and Tim also don't really see how that's gonna work their one area of agreeance is that they both care about family like what that that's it we need something more we need something more like it's not given marriage hannah and nick ever since they got out those paws and she said that he didn't look he didn't look like what she thought he looked like and that he lied about his appearance I knew she wasn't serious because he literally told her he was a kicker like a football player but a kicker and she thought he was going to come out looking like a linebacker she thought he was going to come out looking like a lineman he said he was a kicker have you not seen a kick like what do you think what did she think the kickers look like she felt bamboozled because he didn't come out looking like a lineman 
Um, that's when I knew she was unserious because what? A lot of her commentary is just not needed. If she's willing to kind of like simmer down and he's willing to mature a little, you know, learn a little more about how things work. This guy didn't know what a stock was. I, I could see the dynamic working if those things happen. Taylor and Garrett, I'm sorry, but when he was so unsure about her when he found out she was not white, I ever since that moment, I just didn't know what to think. It's in the back of my head, permanently. Now, I feel like at this point, they seem to really kind of be compatible. They have a lot of the same interests. They seem to have the similar morals. They are very compatible. I definitely want to know what happens with their storyline. I don't spend 20 minutes talking about Love is Blind. Let us go to the mall. Hi, can I get, um, can I try the smashing pumpkin cold brew, please? Uh, small. Small smashing pumpkin, anything else today? That's it for today. Okay, you can drive up. Thank you. Thank you. Day. You too. Just got a coffee. I actually tried a new drink. This is a cold brew with pumpkin, I believe. It's called smashing pumpkin. Usually I get their gee what is it called i just looked at it in the menu i usually get their um caramel or something like that salted caramel cold brew it's so good this i've never tried so let's try it i don't think i've ever seen this at gregory's either maybe it's new i don't know okay moment of truth if this is bad i'm gonna be mad not for me not for me there's a lot going on in this drink there's a lot like it's not the worst drink i've ever had but it's definitely not good like it's not my cup of tea it's not my cup of coffee first of all it has particles like it has like i don't know if it's cinnamon but it's not blended so like you just taste particles and I always hate that in drinks like this because I feel like I'm about to choke I don't know I don't like this at all I can't even pretend to like it it's just not it's not for me that sucks because I low-key wanted to just get the salted caramel but I was like oh something new let me try it for what <laughs> for what damn this Cult Gaia collection is selling out so quickly. Your heart, keep it in your pocket for safe keeping. Don't ever let nobody be the reason. You throw it out, you stop caring about it. Don't let your head get in the way. Can't be defined. Mistakes. You know you try and you try really hard But sometimes you fall You yeah, sometimes you fall had quite the day so i was out at the mall i went to gap so i did end up getting one item from the collection the one that i wanted the most i did want that dress as well but they didn't have the green one in store they only had the denim and the green one sold out so quickly i think the entire collection is probably sold out at this point to be honest but the green one was sold out by the time i went to go check online it was sold out in my size they had medium large and extra large left i believe but i tried a small and i needed an extra small so i didn't get that but that's fine it wasn't my top priority my top priority was the green sweater and i got it so i'll show you guys um up close on this camera but anyways i did try on so i tried on the clothes i went to nordstrom got a coffee went to the car and before i could even turn the camera on i got a call from one of the schools and it was just this whole fiasco 
<sighs> so I had a day, okay? Kid stuff, that happened. Day was instantly ruined. I did go to Wegmans, I grabbed some groceries. I'll show you guys what I picked up, but I was that just really threw a wrench in my day. Like I was not expecting that. Anyways, before we go inside, I'll show you guys the sweater in the car so I don't have to show you inside. This is the bag they give out. This is the bag, it says Cult Gaia. The bag says Cult Gaia, how cute is that? This, this is the sweater that I got. Love this neckline, love the um, logo on here. So nice. Love the detail, so pretty. Such a nice sweater and it's a little cropped. That's what I picked up. The dress was beautiful, 10 out of 10. I would have gotten the dress and the um, halter top was cute as well. This was the item I felt like was appropriate for the season besides that dress and I really want it. So I got that and we about to head inside. I need to edit. I also need to cook. I got some pasta at Wegmans. I did stop at Wegmans. I think I told y'all. But I got pasta. So we're going to make pasta tonight. Hopefully it tastes good. Alright, so quick haul. I got some sushi for lunch. I got these healthy oatmeal bites. These are really good. I've had these before. We're going to try this lemon butter sauce. This blend of lemon, white wine, butter, and slow roasted broth. Sounds pretty good. I also picked up these cheese bites. Some parmesan. I got this pasta for the recipe. Well, not recipe, but the meal. Got some Italian soda and just some sparkling waters. That's pretty much it. Oh, and the chicken that I'm gonna cook 